We are checking out the Falcon 10X uh, interior. This is this is where you get to choose your interior. So when you come in to buy this private jet. Bonjour, Nicholas. Yes. Nice Thank to meet you. Nice to meet yes, you. Yes, this is the probably the biggest cabin in the in the 10X. The, the 10X is uh, by far the, the biggest cabin, uh, not only in the Falcon yeah. product line, but uh, on the market uh, as well. It's the biggest. Uh, uh, cabin of uh, any purpose built uh, business jet. Can it do Sydney to. Uh, where does it have to land if it did Sydney? Uh, you could land in Paris or. Like From Sydney, Sydney, direct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without, la without stopping? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. And so, what's this uh, setup screen here that you have? Oh, the setup, uh, when you have so much uh, space uh, mm -hmm. available uh, in an airplane, uh, obviously you can uh, come with uh, many uh, layouts, many uh, configuration. And that's why uh, what we are uh, displaying here to show uh, our uh, customers uh, the, all the infinite uh, possibilities uh, they have to, uh, to customize their uh, airplane. And so the, do you have a mock-up outside? Yes, of course. Is uh, it possible we could have a look uh, at that as well? Definitely. That's, uh... This is the best private jet that you could ever buy. And you're not going to believe the incredible amount of features that are here on board this aircraft. Come on, let's go inside. A few introduction, as a manufacturer, our focus is always primary safety yep. uh, and comfort. Uh, safety, we uh, try to enhance safety by uh, for example, as I'm a crew, reduce my uh, crew workload. Uh, how do I do that? Simplify the crew interaction using a uh, full touchscreen technology. Mm -hmm. All the screens that you see, so I would say the four main screens are uh, interactive touchscreens and also the uh, secondary display unit that you see on both sides and in the middle. There's another one in the back. Simplify the interaction, of course, and then enhance protection modes through uh, the fly-by-wire or the digital fly control mm -hmm. system of Dassault. So, main feature as you sit down, head-up display, something you know, you know our uh, Falcon Eye. Yeah. So, our Falcon Eye CVS, uh, unique design and awarded already, so it will be a dual and it will be sole means. It will be the first business aircraft to, to uh, allow this. Sole means that it be, can be used to use it as a primary display for flying the aircraft. Tactical information, it means that all the other screen do not, do not have to um, present a flying uh, typical ADI or SVS. So we can have more flexibility in, win in having the correct windowing uh, during the aircraft. The main feature of the automation we have developed are uh, for comfort purposes what we call soft modes, mm -hmm. soft climb, soft descent, soft go around that combines both. Uh, reduction in the flight path to give you less attitude and also reduce frost. And we take benefit of the integration of this, uh, what we call smart throttle within the digital flight control system to be able to manage uh, in an optimized way the comfort, but also the environmental noise. Yes. It's another uh, of our uh, concerns. There are specific protection unique on this aircraft, first technologies. Recovery mode, recovery means you get uh, specially disoriented or you go, you go into a wake turbulence and mm -hmm. the aircraft goes in an unusual attitude. You just have to push the button recovery and the aircraft by itself will come back to a normal uh, flight path. Uh, oh, fantastic. Uh, fantastic. This is a typical of our DNA. We are uh, uh, also a military aircraft uh, manufacturer mm -hmm. and uh, we have this feature on uh, Rafale fighters, okay? Because people get disoriented with the Gs and there is an automatic uh, recovery mode. Uh, and so now it's here on this And now uh, it's here first jet. on the private jet. Yeah. Emergency descent mode, it will be uh, will, uh, allow you to descend in case of depressurization, yep. either automatic or manually. Something I cannot show you and you have to just listen to me, uh, would be we have um, two new features. The one is um, the TCAS resolution advisor that will be coupled to autopilot or autofrotto. So imagine everybody is uh, very uh, tired have a, after a 14 hours or 14, 15 hours flight, which is pretty much the range of the aircraft. Um, the TCAS is able to uh, the autopilot and do the avoidance by itself, okay? yep. without the in, in, uh, only the monitoring the pilot. Mm -hmm. First thing, another unique feature, 
We had a first unique feature was a wind shear escape guidance that was manually flown in case of wind shear. And you have wind shear in Sydney. Sydney is a very good airport for Sydney for uh, wind shear uh, yeah. escape maneuvers, in my experience. <laughs> and um, we will be able to do it by uh, using the autopilot. Amazing. Uh, it's. Um, uh, the success of an escape maneuver during wind shear is uh, yeah. the responses, response time. Yeah. And with that, we gain the few seconds that will um, ensure a better and optimized uh, escape maneuver in case of wind shear. Okay, okay. perfect. Voilà. Few feature, single throttle, small throttle mm -hmm. to manage both engines. Again, the technology comes from the military. Uh, Rafale has been flying for the last 30 years with uh, the single, uh, single throttle for both engines. So we imported this technology and add more protection in low speed, high speed to provide enhanced features for our customers. Mm -hmm. Whereas I would say some speed protection also without auto throttle before the, the fly-by-wire, the digital flight control system provides the ultimate protection. So of course. several layers, several barriers to, uh, to, avoid, um, uh, to avoid errors and uh, get you in a, in a safe area. We are working on um, uh, single pilot operation in cruise <laughs> with yeah. only cranial bed. The idea behind is only is uh, mainly uh, crew fatigue uh, management. So the idea is um, uh, if there is only one pilot, how do I assist him in doing all the tasks by mm -hmm. himself by enhanced automation and enhanced error detection, enhanced assistance. Voilà. Yeah. So there's a lot of technology developed uh, to assist a single uh, crew um, uh, in, in the operation. So one pilot can have a, essentially can have a nap whilst the other pilot's at the controls, but they're both still at the controls in exactly. the cockpit, yeah. but you're managing the fatigue of one of the pilots and they exactly. can sort of take turns, especially if it's a long flight, which these jets are now performing very long exactly. flights. 7,500 nautical miles makes wow. approximately 15 hour cruise. Huh? 15 hours. So from yeah. here back to your hometown. Huh? To yeah, perfect. Well, I'll All just, right. uh, I'll, I'll stay here and I'll, I'll sleep here on this one and then I'll land us into Sydney. And uh, I've played a lot, plenty of hours on Microsoft well, Flight Simulator, so I'm sure I can handle it. Well, thank you very much. I'll, thank you. Yeah, thank uh, you. We'll uh, jump out of here. This is the interior here of the, the 10X, and uh, you can see that it looks way better than my apartment back at home. It's uh, brilliant. I absolutely love the design, and do you want to take us through sort of the idea behind what you're trying to create here? Yeah, for sure. The, the good thing with the Falcon 10X and starting from a blank sheet with a big size of this mm -hmm. cabin, which is the largest right now, we were thinking about more for guidelines to think about an apartment, like being at home. So we can go through. Perfect. I love these seats design. This is very different from, uh, it makes all other jets look really old. Yeah, yeah. that's a, a bio, like a bio design concept. Mm -hmm. So right now we are working on the, on the structure behind it to, yep. make it, uh, to make it possible. So it's in under development. And that's part also of the home-like design we've developed. Okay, um, perfect. Can I have a try of the yes, seat, just to see? Great, just to, <laughs> this, yeah, it's comfy. I could I could do this for 15 hours. Yeah, it's like a couch at home, you know, just sit here. God, there's just so much room in this cabinet. It's so light, it's so expansive. It doesn't feel claustrophobic like many others. We have 19 windows on each side, and all the windows have been maximized on size. They are the largest of the Falcon family. Amazing. So we have really brightness everywhere. And wherever you sit, there is a window. This is this is a lounge. I'm I'm sitting in a lounge room here, on a on a private jet, which is just absolutely unreal. Like this is so much better than a lot of the other things on the market. And I think that if you're looking for something and you need to fly 15 hours on the regular, this would be the way to do it. In this next room here, we actually have a full bedroom, so you can lie flat seating, which is really really nice, with actual proper bedding. So it's not actually like a a seat that folds down. It's a proper uh, mattress, which is definitely something I need. I can't sleep on planes, but I could sleep on this plane. <laughs> but this is my favorite feature about this amazing cabin layout is it's got a full size shower. So I'm gonna stop in here and we'll just see how it sounds. And you can see in here, it's actually a full rain shower here in the top. And it's also got a handle and a seat. So I can actually sit here looking out a window out 
sight as I'm flying along, you know, 15 hours having a full shower, which is just, this is luxurious. Even my showers at home don't have full windows. Like this is just incredible. And I think this is my favorite seat that you can possibly have in the sky today. Or perhaps this is the better seat, which uh, I don't need to actually show you. You can just use your imagination. But you can see with so much light pouring into this place, this really is like the ultimate penthouse in the sky. I would much rather have something like this than a large $100 million New York City apartment because this could go anywhere and you bring your home with you. So thank you again so much for checking out this view today. And if you wanna see more videos just like this, don't forget to subscribe and keep following us for more coverage from the Dubai Air Show.